The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick, and we're on vacation. So that's why the guys are not here with me today, uh, but we do have an excellent episode for you guys to listen to. First of all, if this is the very first time you've ever listened to this show, this is a comedy podcast where we like to make very inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and very inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. In fact, 95% of the time, they're directed towards me, and I'm okay with it. But this is also an adult podcast where we like to use foul language and make loud noises. So if that's not your thing, you're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here. Thank you and goodbye. Um, But yeah, this is a a very rare occasion. We, We finally have been able to take a vacation, just a week. Uh, where we can all go and spend um, time with our families. We do have personal lives, believe it or not, and uh, we get to take advantage of it. So uh, me, on the other hand, I took the liberty of this time and put together a compilation of videos of some of our greatest hits, greatest jokes, uh, a lot of the stuff that uh, hopefully you guys, um, maybe maybe some of you guys have already seen, heard, uh, but hopefully there's some stuff in there that you guys maybe either forgot about or haven't seen before, especially if you're a newer listener. Um, these are some of the most funniest times that we've had over the last three years, um, and uh, we're taking advantage of it. So, uh, guys, thank you so much. Enjoy the episode. I'll be coming in from time to time to tell you, you know, what's going on, but uh, we do have... The first segment that we uh, we normally start with every single week, we like to talk about what happened to us over the last week. We call it our week week recap, and these are some of those funny times that happen in that segment. One, yeah, something yeah. like that. Now we went down to uh, Kansas City to the Holocaust Museum or the exhibit in Union Station and mm-hmm. went through that. They said it takes about two hours to go through. I it took me about five and a half. No shit. Yeah. Um, a lot of interesting stuff that I read. Uh, I'm sure. So, I mean, those pesky Jews. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. <God. laughs> I'm, just, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, actually, half of the people that were executed, I think they said were Christians. Oh, really? Yeah, they said they took the kids immediately and executed the children because they didn't want to make enemies. Wow. Uh, yeah. make, I mean, I, it's smart, but fucked up. <laughs> and then uh, the thing that I think that I found the most interesting was that a fucking Hugo Boss designed the SS uniforms. Oh, no way. Yeah. Oh, Proudly no. designed the SS uniforms. <laughs> what a, I've always said they're awful but fashionable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, Would shit. pure evil do a little twirl, please? <laughs> Delightful. <laughs> because I have decided to quit drinking. Uh-huh. Carrot juice. <laughs> and uh, I, thought, I thought today would finally be the day, Jeremy. Uh huh. Are you ready? I'm born ready. It's fucking horse talk. <laughs> <laughs> nice! <laughs> I was sitting here wondering. All right. <laughs> I was like, why does Derek have his fucking hat off the whole time? I'm it, going, It no. would be so great if you could get the headphones up on those <laughs> ears. <laughs> this, this is the day we turn it all around. I love it. This may go. be uh, the best day in the history of my life. Absolutely. And that includes the day my son was born. This um, just went from a three... Know? That uh, horses have the largest eyes of all land mammals. Yes, I did, actually. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you did. Yeah. This just made us go from a three-star podcast to a six-star podcast mm-hmm. like that. Mm-hmm. Three uh, stars may have been pushing it. I know. <laughs> to be honest with you, I wouldn't listen to this fucking show. So that was um, my week. Huh? That's my week. That's your week? Yep. All right. Well, you look great, by the way. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> no, you can't fuck me. <laughs> I don't want to. Uh, anyways, I think um, he's more interested in the cock end of the horse. <laughs> <laughs> anyways, um, yeah, we get to the hotel and we check in and the ladies like tell us about all the facilities, you know, elevators are just over here. There's an ice machine on every floor. We have a state of the art health uh, or fitness center right in here. Are you looking at us? <laughs> To which I, just with a perfectly straight face, uh, 
That fitness center, is that, uh, you got a Nordic track in there? <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was serious. Like, I 100% thought, I was like, damn, Jeremy, you gonna go fucking work out? <laughs> and she had to, like, pause and get confirmation from her, her manager that, uh, uh, no, it does Shit. not. And I thought, okay, you said state of the art. I thought you might have a thirty-year-old piece of equipment <laughs> in there. I, uh, everybody makes fun of me because I like to make custom like clothing. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we make fun of you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus. You would be more off the mark if you had to be. <laughs> Hey, I made Jeremy laugh. <laughs> uh, but reality no. made me laugh. <laughs> you are just a part of it, and I'm right. part that I'm ashamed of. Yeah, right. here about mean, two furlongs short of a derby, there, Scotty. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, please tell me we're on the home stretch. <laughs> I, uh, I, I won the fantasy football. Jesus uh, Christ! Last year, and so I, I don't know if they knew that or not. I made because it because you talk about it all the fucking time. Of course, I do. Uh, but I actually had a shirt made that has my logo and then the 2020 uh, Fetus Football Champs. I don't, I don't know if that and helps up this shirt. Olymp- Maybe I should straighten that out. Yeah. Special <laughs> Olympians are are less proud of their gold medal oh, than shit. you are of your fucking right. championship. Right, and that's okay. Um, they I, love shiny stuff, Scott. Yeah, yeah, I know. the closest yeah. he's ever been to a winner. This is the I very know. first time I've ever won. Anything, right? Yeah. Anything. Anything in your life, naturally. Yeah. So shut up. And then Jesus. on my on my shirt at the very bottom, it says "Suck it, Derek," and that's my favorite part. Uh, and then to top the night off, I saw a man fall harder. Oh yeah. <laughs> than I think I've ever seen anybody fall. Yeah. Uh, I was drinking the world's most expensive beer in the hotel. <laughs> yeah, thirty five dollars. I paid thirty five dollars for a road six pack at the fucking bar because we weren't quite done drinking. <laughs> Oh my God. And me and Derek are just sitting there talking, and he's telling me a story, and I don't even remember what the fuck we were talking about, but he was saying, and so the guy did this, and he's sitting in one of those, and it's like a basic office chair, like like that one that mm-hmm. people can't see. Yeah. And uh, he just <laughs> leans back in it, and the fucking wheels come. <laughs> I mean, it's like they ran away from the fucking chair. He got powerbombed by an office chair. He falls straight back and smacks his head on the fucking wall. Oh, God. And for a second, see, here is my reaction. I have my friend Brian is really good at, like, faking hitting his head on things. Uh And one night he got me, like, three times in one night (laughs) hitting his head on shit. I'm, are you okay? Yeah, dude, I'm fine. And so for, like, two seconds, I'm like, did did he just do that on purpose? (laughs) Because it's like he just timed it perfect. And then I got to thinking, no, he's not that athletic. <laughs> that to do that and not get hurt. And so I go running over there, like, do you need an? A-? I I expect him to just be Derek. I go, dude, are you okay? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> and I was afraid he was concussed. I actually stayed up a little later just to make sure he kept breathing once he went to <laughs> sleep. Oh my god! I it mean, it was hurt. it was one of the nastiest spills I've ever seen anyone take. Wow. And, and then it, it uh, wasn't even like a I was hammered drunks bill. It just I just yeah, went. Yeah. Um, wow. There's your, a bunch. Your wife has a bunch she, of knickknacks. My wife is I've described her as an organized hoarder. <laughs> yeah. She has a lot of anything that she keeps, but she is so meticulous that everything is neatly organized and cataloged. And all that shit. Yeah, she's smart. And she, she's she, smart. Yeah, no. Um, <laughs> Math? Well, yeah. Okay. Very good at the house. Okay. All right. Making sure. Uh, let's see. What else? Um, oh, uh, just one thing, a note that I'd like to make uh, coming to your house. Uh, I think I made this same remark back in late uh, late fall time, too. Mm-hmm. Uh, I leave my house about 6 o'clock yeah. to get here. And that is a great time of day to come west. <laughs> wow, just staring right into that fucking sun. For people who have just don't appreciate the sun, take a few minutes and just stare at that fucker <laughs> every day, just so you can really appreciate it, because that's what I had to do to get here. God damn. Nice. Uh-huh. All right. That was my week. All right. Uh, how about you, Derek? Well, uh, I drank a lot. Yeah. Surprise. No. Um, I did... Uh, I, 
some people may know, I, I bought a, a firearm last year. Yeah. And I've never shot it. So I finally uh, went out Sunday and uh, shot my gun. <laughs> Fuck, bro. What did you I shoot it with? <laughs> I, I, I shot my gun. Uh, I also got free gas and $327. <laughs> and if anybody asks, I was with you on Sunday between the hours of 6 and 8 p.m. <laughs> got it. So Nailed it. Uh, I, when you started talking about the gun, I thought you were going to pull it out and shoot me. <laughs> oh, no. I really did. Jesus. Not on air. Oh, I'll okay. get caught. Oh, okay. Af- after the show. Yeah. Well, this okay. isn't live streaming. Yeah. We can go and edit that out. We need Scotty for we, that. We need Mitch. <laughs> to show us how to do that. So. Mitch is going to have to edit yeah. that out. Yeah, Mitch. Get We're going to have to bring him back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Shouldn't have fired him. Right. So I shot shot my pistol, and then it was a good friend of mine's birthday uh, yesterday. So we uh, went to throw, tried to throw him a little bit of a surprise party, but he showed up before everyone else did because... <laughs> That is the kind of guy he is when it comes surprise. to going to the bar. <laughs> it's a surprise for everybody else. Yeah, everybody's like, "What are you doing here?" Yep. Yeah, that's that's our buddy. So yeah, yeah, that was uh, that was my week for the most part. I was uh, I was there at that birthday party. This is this is my week. Uh, I, I'm first off. Our, our buddy, can I say his name? Or, yeah. No? Okay. Okay. So Jamie, care. Jamie, Jamie Deuce Deuce. I love that guy. Um, happy birthday, happy late, happy birthday to him. Uh, we all go to a bar, and I I saw I saw something that I've never seen before, and I was so happy that I saw it. Uh, Derek has told me many many times that his his wife hates a particular song. And uh, we were at the bar. Is it the Hokey Pokey? No. Because that's what it's all about. Maybe that, too. That's how we, that's our foreplay. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, Played that at our wedding. <laughs> yeah. I, I, when I put my left foot in, <laughs> holy oh. shit. Nothing gets her <laughs> heated up. Yeah. yeah. You got to take it. You got to take shake it, out, it all shake about. It all yeah. about. It's nature's slipper. <laughs> yeah. You shake it all about. You <laughs> yeah. shake it all about with it in. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> exactly. You got to hit the e- <laughs> D-E-F-N-G spots. Yeah. <laughs> And anyways, we've known for years that uh, Derek has told us that his wife hates a very uh, a particular song uh, more than anything in the world, and uh, she ends up going to the bathroom. And naturally, if you tell Jer- if you tell Derek that uh, not to do something, chances are he's probably going to fucking do it anyway. Especially if he knows it's going to get a rise out of somebody. So sure enough, she goes into the bathroom, and uh, uh, Derek decides to put on the. Uh, Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Song. She hates that song. Really? She hates the the Rick Rolled. She hates that song to the point to where she came out of the bathroom and the fire in her eyes of wanting to beat the shit out of Derek was something that you would have thought that she found out in the bathroom that he'd been cheating on her for two years. Mm-hmm. It was bad. Yeah, she hadn't found that out yet. Oddly yeah. enough, Derek did let her down. <laughs> <laughs> was, uh... Hey, Derek, could you tell Scotty I said hi? What? But I don't want to talk to him. Who's, Jeremy. Who's I don't want to talk to him. Jeremy. 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 That thing. <laughs> that fucking thing making noise over there. Uh, Damn. Yeah, I'm out. I fucked both of you. And also, another st- excellent stand-up comedian, the wreck himself, Mr. Derek Alders. How you doing, Jeremy? Doing great. <laughs> good. Doing good. God, so how's your horse? F- oh, pretty great. We're awesome. doing this, uh, yeah, we're doing horse talk this week. All right. I've been so excited for horse talk. <laughs> the best part about horse talk is it does not involve Scotty <laughs> at all. No, no, not That's, at all. I want to join. Can I be on horse talk podcast? Jeremy, we tell Scotty he can't be on horse talk. <laughs> <laughs> Derek, could you tell Scott I said no? <laughs> Last but not least, I am ready for vacation. We are ready for you to go. I know mm. you are. I'm too. It's all right. It's going to be a good old time. I may not come back. I might do something stupid enough to actually kill myself. Well, if so, i got to start going to church. Uh, means he's real. Pray. Pray. But no, I I, uh, I am fucking pumped. I leave, leave at the ass crack of dawn tomorrow morning. I like how you're going on vacation to somewhere where there's more snow. <laughs> it's, it's, I'd like to get away from here and go somewhere cold and snowy. <laughs> yeah. Here's Some place where I need Arctic gear to keep from dying of exposure. Here's Fuck the, this double, triple layer shit. <laughs> no. Scotty, you got flies. I do? Yeah. Oh. Oh, close your legs. Oh. <laughs> they what? might go away. <laughs> got it! I got it! <laughs> you sure did. <laughs> oh, man. He's dead. Oh, the that kind of shifted the angle, didn't it? Yeah, it did. That fly is gone. Oh, no. Look what you did. Probably, yeah. I don't know, 
10 hours or something like that after I shared it. Is it the one where you knelt down behind the retarded girl and I pushed her over? <laughs> no. Because that may have been legit bullying. Because I called her a bitch when I did it, too. Yeah. Uh, no. Look at those tits. <laughs> <laughs> That's... Uh... If anything is ever going to get people to start watching the YouTube more than the, the audio, this is this it. This is yeah. fucking ridiculous. <laughs> Derek is going to new levels to try to get us uh, cancel cultured. And so... I don't know if she's farting. <laughs> oh, All yeah. right, Scotty, you right, Scotty, Scotty yeah, yeah. No, I'm Move, good. Scotty. Just put her, All right. no, just put her right there. there. No, she's hosting. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Welcome back to We're Having on the Sidelines podcast, a.k.a. Horse Talk. This is Vicky. Yeah, hang on. There we go. <laughs> no. Oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> there. This is the craziest shit we've ever done, I think. <sighs> There we go. What do you mean we? Derek's doing <laughs> Derek, it all. Derek's there, doing it there all. There we go. Yeah. Oh. Perfect. <laughs> really perfect. We're gonna go with that. I think I think looks pretty good, Jeremy. <laughs> Way better than what it was before. <laughs> all right. All Just right. get rid of that fucking belt and we'll be all good. <laughs> How the fuck are we supposed to concentrate? Huh? Oh, you're done now. No, what, no. Yeah, what's this we shit? Yeah, you're me and Jeremy are going to be fine. You get on the fine. ones and twos, and we'll just uh, take over from here. Yeah. Let's face it, you're not bringing anything here anyway. Yeah. Okay. It's like it's like Derek's filet mignon, I'm loaded mashed potatoes, and you're a sandwich Kale. bag full of fucking Hydrox cookies. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's where you're at. You brought that for dessert. Okay, but seriously, for like material, can, no, we, can no, we get this out of here, please? Ser seriously, uh, you, you are, you're what's killing the show. You know what I saw on, on. Sunday, Scotty? On. I was on my way to the comedy club to tell some jokes, mm -hmm. right? At about 6 o'clock at night, it's negative 8, according to my car, and I look to my left, and there's a man jogging. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I don't know. Are you sure I'm... he wasn't trying to keep warm because his car broke down? <laughs> nope, he's jogging. I just, I, I'm so disappointed in white people. <laughs> I... I got nothing. I can't even defend us anymore. I have nothing left. Cold weather joggers are the reason they have search parties. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't even think you should send the party out for that. That's just your own fault. Yeah. That's a waste of taxpayer money. And you know what? They all look the same, right? All yeah. of all those, those guys that run fucking ice cold and they're like in fucking spandex and mm -hmm. shit mm -hmm. with gloves on and the stupid ass headband that covers your ears. They mm -hmm. all look the same. Yeah, yeah. to keep your sweat in to cool you down. They're all white guys. Yeah, and he's at the stoplight. Just stop jogging Checking in place. <laughs> yeah, like you got to be fucking kidding me. <laughs> stop it, Jason. <laughs> Tom, Tom. <laughs> if he stops, his knees will freeze in place. <laughs> <laughs> Possibly. It's that fucking cold. This is it doesn't get this cold in Holly weird when I jog. <laughs> it sure does. Hey, yeah, I'm California dreaming. Be safe and warm out there. <laughs> it's so great. Uh, Generally, about this part of every single episode, we start uh, giving a shout out to our sponsor, which is Manscaped.com. Guys, do us a favor. Go and check them out. They have excellent products to help keep, keep yourself groomed. Um, and I was going to do it myself, but it's just not as funny. I'm sorry. I'm not the funny one. I get it. I understand. Um, however, I did have a couple of listeners uh, let me know that over the last couple of weeks, there was one Manscaped ad that they said was probably the funniest ad they've ever heard in their entire life. In fact, they asked me to even put it as its own thing on YouTube. And uh, so instead, I thought, what better of a place to put it than on this? So check out this Manscaped ad. That, that's on them. All right. Well, now we got to move on to the sports. Before we do that, uh, speaking of uh, nut sacks on, uh, on stand-up comedy stages, mm -hmm. um, you really want to make yourself groomed for those stand-up comedy sessions. I mean, I think that's one of Derek's favorite jokes that he Yeah, does. I leave my dick hanging out that's the right. whole time. They need to see that my balls are nicely clean <laughs> shaven. They didn't 100%. even notice. No, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that one guy was just sitting there like, not even looking at my dick. Arms crossed. <laughs> Staring off into space. Like, yep. He didn't want to look at he it. He had no idea it was that close to his mouth. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I could feel the breath on my cleanly shaven scrotum. And the, the way that you do that. He was that, chewing wintergreen. <laughs> of course he was. 
<laughs> he just got off his shift <laughs> at the fucking marble slab. <laughs> needed to wind down (laughs) (laughs) but in order to have that cleanly shaven scrot you uh need to invest in the products from manscaped.com especially the lawnmower 4.0 uh derek was trying to blind that guy with that led light while he was up on stage weren't you no they were that's what was shining in my face they didn't have spotlights they just had a bunch of 4.0 on a rack makes sense (laughs) yeah but uh, yeah, they've actually started using the three at Pink Floyd shows, just swinging them <laughs> around. And it's, that's how bright they are. You need that adjustable light. <laughs> that's true. You do. Uh, but check out the lawnmower four point oh. We don't need no three point oh vegetation. <laughs> vegetation. <laughs> we are going to clean your pole. <laughs> Manscaped. Clean that fucking pole. <laughs> okay. Oh, jeez. They'll they... actually take two of them. That's what they used to chop up the ice cream at Marble Slab. <laughs> People donate their old ones. <laughs> because with those ceramic <laughs> blades, not only do they do an excellent work on ice cream, they yes. also They're not going to rust. They're not going to rust, but they also help with cutting your hair without cutting mm-hmm. you up. And that's very, very important. Which is why you need the blade guard, because trust me, these things are sharp enough, they would definitely cut into that marble. Absolutely. Without a doubt. <laughs> that's right. But they also have other products. They have things. Like what? They have my favorite product, which is the Weed Whacker. That's uh-huh. for your ear hair and nose hairs especially. They mm-hmm. also have the Bone Rake. <sighs> yeah. 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 All right. Well, they got that. Yeah, comb the hairs around your bone. Mm-hmm. <laughs> there shouldn't be any. <laughs> exactly. That's the introductory product. Right. Okay. <laughs> That's just to get you warm. That's how you fluff it up. <laughs> right. right before you use the lawnmower. Yeah. That should be their next product, the fluffer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but they have tons of excellent products at manscaped.com. They have body wash now. They have the crop cleanser. They have a whole bunch of things that are high quality. They still I got have some of the cologne. It's not what, bad. What, refined. There you, there you go. Refined is an excellent product. I, will, I wear it. Uh, but, yeah, check them out at manscaped.com. Use the promo code SIDELINES. Get 20% off of your order and free shipping. That helps you out, helps us out, and helps, uh, you know, yeah, it helps us out. That just it, makes, it helps men out in general because yeah. uh, with every purchase, That's they right. make a donation to uh, help uh, men's health issues. Yeah. Prostate cancer, testicular cancer. Annoying bitches. Right. Annoying bitches. Get them away. Yeah. They won't take care of the other 99 problems. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. That's the one. Mm-hmm. Right. That's it. Uh, but thank you to manscaped.com. We really do appreciate you guys over there. But. And a lot of the times, the funniest stuff ends up happening whenever it's not rehearsed or scripted or anything like that. These guys are... They're comedians. They, they're the best at just rolling with it, whatever they get, and making jokes out of it. And some of the best jokes out of all of them end up when we're not even meaning to be funny, when we're talking about something related to sports because it is a sports podcast that just so happens to be primarily a comedy show. Um, and all of those times, I tried to find as many of them as I could and put them in. So here you go. Hey, it's my favorite rain delay ever. Actually, is not the 2016 Cubs World Series one. There was one where it was, I, well, I guess it wasn't a delay, but it was starting to rain. You know how, like, you see the guy standing behind a home plate? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. It was a White Sox game, and they were giving out ponchos, and they were white ponchos. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like a bunch of Klansmen oh, sitting nice. behind home plate. <laughs> Did they I, have hoods? Yes, that's yes. what it was, and they were pointed. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it was hilarious. The... Uh, University of South Florida women's basketball team refers to themselves as the Lady Bulls, <laughs> which I I don't know. Not not necessarily all of our listeners are from here in cattle country, <laughs> so they may not know the difference between a bull and not a bull. <laughs> but if you see a herd of cattle and you look real close, it's very subtle. <laughs> The difference, but there is a huge set of testicles. Well, first thing I want on a bull, Jeremy, and so a lady bull. Unless you've watched a women's basketball game, then you know it's a very accurate nickname. But uh, it's twenty twenty. It sure is. I mean, now there's there's he bulls, she bulls, pan bulls. I mean, yeah, right, trans bulls. Uh, I guess yeah. their their only other option was to call them the cows, <laughs> which would be better. I I don't know. I think it would be better. I, I'm guessing Lady Bulls probably gets more recruits. Probably. 
and given a lot of the girls who play there, that <laughs> appeals to them. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff to talk about on this week's episode, boys. No, we don't. Yeah, no. we do. We don't have a fucking thing to talk about, <laughs> me and, Scotty. Me and Jeremy yes, have some stuff to discuss. we got some stuff to talk about, studs and thoroughbreds and <laughs> how to shoe your geldings. horse properly. Yeah, yeah. 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 Furlongs. Farriers and, and yeah. <laughs> okay, well, we've Dirt got. track versus grass yeah. and derbies. Yeah. And, I'd, I'd yeah. like to see horses run on asphalt. Right. That's oh, where I'd like, like to see that. the new horse races go. Yeah. yeah. I like I like blacktop in the summer. That's the only way to end, with unshoed. <laughs> yes. <laughs> An unshod horse. Yes. Yeah. On real hot, melty asphalt. <laughs> that's the only way. That's how the, our forefathers used to do it. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Or just tar, like a foot and a half of tar. <laughs> I'd like to see that. Right. I think, what about a thin layer of glue, just for irony? Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That'd be great. And then if they win, they get dog food. <laughs> That's like making a person wear a trench coat made of human skin. (laughs) (laughs) Who who threw out the worst first pitch of all time? Helen Keller. Oh, Oh, are you fucking serious? She pipelined one. Or at least that's what they told her. (laughs) She smoked it. (laughs) What if she really could just fucking throw heat? Turns out she throws 97 she and, she, it, and it moves. She can't see, they, hear, talk. They she can't her, do anything anymore. She's, her dead. she's of, dead. Her rendition of the national anthem is phenomenal. <laughs> <laughs> it was almost as good as Roseanne Bard. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah, that was pretty awful. Mm-hmm. Best meme ever. She is completely immune to flashbang grenades. It was my favorite <laughs> Helen Keller meme I've ever seen. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> wow. I never thought about it. That is a benefit. Yeah. So if you ever have the SWAT team come after you. Bring it, motherfucker. Yeah. I mean, it's not going to stop them from what they're going to do next. <laughs> yeah. But. That was pretty good. Oh, that's pretty intimidating, though. God damn, that bitch didn't even flinch. Let's get we, out of here. We don't have to expand on this, but I'm just going to be thinking <laughs> about what scenarios that SWAT would have to come after Helen Keller. <laughs> well, um, what could she have done? Well, like, it could be a hostage ne- negotiation. And I trying specifically to get her out of the house. said I don't want to expand on this. <laughs> well, remember, no. Sorry, <laughs> that's <laughs> that's the way we're going. No, I, I didn't. <laughs> we have a video for Scotty. Uh huh. We uh, got contacted by a special listener. Yes, so. who had some really nice things to say about us, and he couldn't get a hold of Scotty, so he what the recorded fuck? a message. Yeah. So, so Scotty, so if you Scotty, would, if you'd watch the video. Oh God, I am not. I don't know if it. Oh Jesus Christ! There you go. What the fuck? Who is that? That's Ozzy. Hi, Smith. Scotty. Ozzy Smith here. Scotty, you are the worst podcast host of all time. What the fuck? We at Cardinal Nation can't stand you. You are the Michael Jordan of stupid nicknames. <laughs> now pause it. Pause oh, it. God. I can't. I can't. What the fuck? <laughs> Oh, you, you need my. to understand how committed we are to shitting on you. <laughs> that we reached out to Ozzy Smith. We, this is fucking ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> Between me, Scotty, and Ozzy, your three biggest heroes. <laughs> All of them love shitting on you. <laughs> That's really fucking Ozzy Smith. That's yes, really Ozzy that Smith. That's really Ozzy oh Smith. Yes. God. I know it's Ozzy Smith. I can see it. Yes. Oh um, my God. Now, we did not <laughs> authorize the last part of that. Yeah, here's the last part. Okay. Yeah, all right. I what? think we missed part of it. All right. Here you go. Just kidding. <laughs> the group at Laughing on the Sidelines made me do it. Oh. Um, Have a great day, buddy. That is fucking <laughs> awesome. We did not do it. And in fact, when we showed him some footage of the podcast, he actually offered to pay us <laughs> <laughs> to do it. When he says just kidding, that's the only part he was just kidding about. <laughs> Cardinal Nation truly can't stand you. He, and like when we, we, <laughs> he thought we were great, by the way. He sent us our own and he thought we were great. Oh my God. That is probably, I'm not even going to lie, dude. That's probably like one of the coolest things that you've ever done for me. <laughs> Having your personal hero Having shit on you. Having my personal hero shit on me. <laughs> Live on the show. That's. That's pretty tough to beat right there. <laughs> yeah. That's <laughs> for what it's worth, this show is probably what it is because of randomness. Just things coming out of absolutely nowhere to where they just start rolling one after another with one tag and one tag and one tag. 
And eventually it leads to stories. Just one thing just automatically explodes a comedic genius story told by Jeremy, Derek, or any of the other guests that we've had on this show. And it's absolutely amazing and absolutely hilarious. Absolutely. I, you know what? This was also, uh, it was a doctor on a YouTube deal. You know what else? Ridiculous statement that they made? Mm. That you cannot, like, save up semen. That you will have the Whatever. same size of ejaculate. I got a whole jar of it. <laughs> right. <laughs> I got a bank. I got a sperm <laughs> bank. Is it the mason jar that you gave me that I keep using? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. that's the one. <laughs> but no, that like if you go a long time without uh, ejaculating, that it does not affect the size of the load that you shoot out. Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Bullshit. Uh, on a serious note, I have though, gone a few days and hit the fucking ceiling. <laughs> yeah. Do you wear braces? You yeah. should. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you should. I do. Them. Just because they're fun. I wear yeah. them just on my knees. Sure. Oh, no. <laughs> <That's nice. laughs> yeah. The, I hope they're the old Forrest Gump style. <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> I got, for, for no real reason. No, you just because they're comfortable. You get sympathy, puss. Sure you do. Yeah. yeah. Look at that poor that's guy. What, that's Can't even walk. About. I'm going to fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just go and tear it up in the sack. Yeah. <laughs> No, there's nothing wrong with me. I'm, yeah. I'm physically fine. Yeah. His, his fucking braces are badass. I don't know how he had, he had me bent over the bed. He couldn't even walk a little bit ago. <laughs> now I think I got hip dysplasia. <laughs> <laughs> or, or, poor guy, I had to do all the work. <laughs> Let's be honest. Look at me. That's usually what ends up having to happen anyway. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I just Jesus. stand there stationary doggy mm-hmm. style like all right forward back <laughs> forward a little more forward not to no no back 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 all right hold <laughs> hold three two one all right forward <laughs> get one of those craftmatic adjustable beds that yeah. part of it goes up and down <laughs> and you're just sitting there brr, brr, or just, just tie strings to her arm and some rails in the ceiling and just fucking like a string puppet just but up and down. He sounds like a marionette. A, he's, yeah. He sounds like a mom back. You know, the guy that stands behind that delivery box mm-hmm. truck. They're sitting yeah. up. Yep. Mom back back up. Back mom up. Back. Nope. Yeah. Forward. Forward. Nope. Forward. Nope. Back it up. <laughs> All right. Go ahead and lay it down. <laughs> Put on the brakes. <laughs> E break. <laughs> She's just scooting back and forth on the headboard whenever we have missionary. I'm just still laying there. <laughs> Teaching her about Jesus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> looks, like, looks like somebody had a seizure. <laughs> That's why we got satin sheets now. Makes it easier. <laughs> By the way, if you've never seen the sex scene from the movie MacGruber, have you I ever not, seen it? No. Oh. You got to see it. You have to I've just for that the, scene. I've never seen the movie MacGruber. <laughs> never. Oh, <laughs> I'll show it to you after the show. You got to see that scene. I don't not, not the whole movie. No, uh, just that scene. Jesus, it's on Christ. YouTube. Scotty, do you have it printed out somewhere? <laughs> <laughs> no, of course I don't. Oh, okay. Uh, don't say, of course I don't. Like that's a ridiculous thing. <laughs> it's a ridiculous. There's a chance thing. you've got a fucking trapper keeper, <laughs> <laughs> full, <laughs> full of nudes. You, you could do a flip book of that whole fucking scene. It's a, it's a col- they're collector cards. They're not the same. Whatever. Yeah. Uh, anyways, I woke up but, one morning to a roommate of mine uh, laughing his ass off because I was asleep in the chair, one sock on, one sock off. Half eaten McChicken in my hand and a Long John Silver's hat on. <laughs> I was so drunk I couldn't finish eating, but I was not too drunk to eat. I got half of it down. I just want to know where you got the. I know where you got the Long John Silver's hat, but if you were like, "Hey, let's roll through Long John and get a hat," it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, we're long, John Silver's going to take your order. Mm. <laughs> Why a hat? <laughs> Give me a lot of water. <laughs> Give me a large hat <laughs> and some Krispies <laughs> and a water. <laughs> hey, fuck my order up. They only gave me the hat. Let's go to McDonald's. <laughs> Uh, Motherfuckers, next time I'm going to take all their hats. <laughs> Try no, I say. believe it was actually a hat that I had gotten from their... At an earlier date, <laughs> but 
<laughs> but he fucking found it so he could put it on and eat his fucking uh-huh. food. <laughs> that's the only way you eat a McChicken's with a Long John Silver. Yeah, yeah, that's right. It doesn't taste right if you don't do it. Okay. Mm. Scotty queefed. <laughs> no. No, I did not. Is that true, Scott? <laughs> no, I did not. I did not. I did not. <laughs> so you keep tight, the puss tight then? Yeah. Okay. Nice and tight. Mm. Yeah. You doing Kegels? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Keep like a shot put in there and just <laughs> no. hold it in. No. <laughs> His Chris Benoit balls. Mm. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. Uh, I think I've talked about on the show before. I've got a, in addition to our cars, I've got a little pickup. Uh-huh. Yeah. O2 uh, Ford Ranger. Yeah. Uh, the fucking thing looks like it's been through a war zone. It was like that when I bought it. It's been on its last leg since day one, as far as I know. So, anyways, I realized that people are passing me at an alarming rate and i look down and i'm doing 55 and so i step on the gas you can't drive 55 you can't drive 55 no no i couldn't (laughs) i step on the gas which typically makes a car go faster not this time (laughs) it just starts going slower and slower the truck's still running but there's no place for me to pull off there's construction everywhere so whenever there's a bridge Uh i lose the shoulder even I can't even get on the shoulder. I cannot keep this truck above 20 miles an hour. Oh, shit. <laughs> nice. August in Kansas, no air conditioning. I call my wife. I'm like, be ready for me to call you again because <laughs> this may not make it home. I limp that fucking thing home at 15 to 20 miles an hour. Going down a hill, I could get up to almost 30. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Going up a hill, I couldn't get 15. Yikes. And the rest of the time, I'm sitting there, like, rocking back and forth trying <laughs> to get my momentum going. So I uh, I get, I put it on Craigslist. I'm mm-hmm. like, somebody will take this thing. I put 500 bucks on it. And so there is nothing that attracts riffraff like a $500 car. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> on Craigslist. I worked at Mitsubishi for a while. I, I know. Holy fuck. <laughs> I had it on there. I don't know exactly how long. Less than 10 minutes. I know that. This guy shows up, and to call him skinny would be an understatement. Uh, he looked like if uh, a concentration camp survivor went on a diet. <laughs> he, he was just a walking skeleton. and <laughs> Hated he, man. And, okay, so he gets there, and he's like, Hey, let me let me try banging on the fuel filter. See if I can get it. And I'm thinking, you don't want to fix it because if you get it running right, I'm not selling it. <laughs> <laughs> but he he gets under the car with a screwdriver and starts hitting on the fuel filter. And he's like, "Okay, try it now. Try it now, man. Okay, try it now." I'm like. Are you talking to me? I'm up on the porch. <laughs> I'm the only one with a fucking key to it. Who, who are you wanting to try it now? <laughs> he brought a guy with him, but that guy wasn't anywhere near, and he doesn't have the fucking key. <laughs> so we we try it now. It starts just like it had been, but it won't. The engine won't rev up above 2,500 rpm. Right, and you know that didn't help. And he goes. Yeah, I think your converters are clogged. Would you, would you mind if I tried cutting them off to see if that'll do? Oh, Shut up. Okay, now I know what the fuck you're doing. He's trying to steal my catalytic converters. <laughs> For those who don't know, catalytic converters use uh, platinum and palladium and some other rare metals that are very valuable, and they're a common thing to steal. <laughs> Try it now. I, I told him, well, when you pay me for it and we transfer the title, you can do whatever you want to it, but until then, no. He's and that's when he said, "Well, can I look at something under the hood?" I said, "You can look all you want, but you you don't want to fix this thing." That's when I told him, "If you fix it, <laughs> I'm keeping it." That's uh, so. If I don't come, how am I going to know if it's going to work? It doesn't work. <laughs> I've been very upfront with that from the get go. It doesn't work. And uh, so he goes, "Would you take three fifty for it?" And I said, "No, I'm not going to come off that five hundred right now." He pulls out seven fifty dollar bills and like fans them out in front of me. Man, I got the cash right here. Now I I I realize we joke about me being fucking rich. I'm not rich, but upper middle class, I guess. <laughs> and you can tell that by the neighborhood I live in. I'm not going to be dazzled by three hundred and fifty dollars, cash or otherwise. I like whenever people say 
That's all. Oh, uh, just cash. I'll pay you cash. What, what are you? What, where are you going to pay me? Yes. McDonald's gift cards. Oh, <laughs> like the, the one. Uh, that, that's what this guy said. Uh, I finally turned this guy away. <laughs> so, anyways, so I start contacting other people and letting them know he didn't buy it. Four more people come to my house. It is a parade of trash. <laughs> oh yeah, it, yeah, it baby. It made the state fair look aristocratic. <laughs> <laughs> it's, holy shit! The one guy tries giving me a sob story about which. Okay, know the situation you're getting into. Man, my my daughter needs a car to get back and forth to work for a kid. Well, then you don't want this one. <laughs> it doesn't run. <laughs> I mean, it starts, but it, you can't get anywhere in this. But okay, so does she work across the street? <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. That's her best bet. Yeah, a bicycle would be much no cheaper. Shit. <laughs> so, anyways, after four or five people come to the house, I just decide, you know what? I'm tired of giving out my home address to these fucking weirdo strangers. Yeah, I'm surprised I didn't recognize you. So the next guy, yeah, no shit. It sounds a lot. I can imagine one of them, hey, you know something you could say to your wife and while you're stuck in traffic? <laughs> yeah, try I do. it now. Yeah, I do. I'm still, I'm still not coming off the price. Yeah, yeah, try, yeah try it now. <laughs> try it, try it now. God, he was just hard. Try it now. <laughs> That's so fucking hilarious. I mean, you want to talk about just fucking meth head USA right here. So finally, this this guy shows up. I've given several people my address. I'm not sure which guy this is, but just the doorbell rings. He didn't like <clears throat> say I'm here or anything like that. And it's a an older gentleman uh, at the age where it just depends on how well he took care of himself. He could have been late 50s or maybe even mid 70s if he took real good care of himself. Uh Black gentleman, if that that's important to the story, just painting a picture with words. Yeah. Um, it, it also makes it harder to judge age. <laughs> right. But he said, I'm here about the truck. So I put on my shoes. I go outside with him. He looks around the truck, and he opens the door, and he looks inside. There's your catalytic converter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he, like. pop, he pops the hood, and he looks on at the engine, and he goes, all right. Pulls out five hundred bucks out of his shirt pocket and hands it to me. I ha I pull out the title. I sign it over to him, and he goes, "Okay, so this is all we need." I said, "Yeah, your vacuum hose to the intake was just disconnected." He hooks it up, <laughs> starts the fucking thing, and drives it away. Yeah, you got, you got five hundred bucks and a great try it now story. Yes. <laughs> that's gonna that's be worth my, it all. That, that's gonna be my thing from now on. Anything, anytime my wife ain't anywhere near me. Hey, try it now! <laughs> try it now! <laughs> Dude, you saw me stand up on the fucking porch! Oh, shit. <laughs> you, <laughs> did you think I followed you? Did you see the shocks go down? I wouldn't have gotten in the fucking thing while he's underneath it anyway. But, try it now! <laughs> try it now! <laughs> Fanned out that fucking cash like I'm just going to go, oh... Fuck, he's got cash. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Jesus. Judging by the intelligence and what that man has said, I, those uh, $50 bills may have been <laughs> shoved in some wrong places. Yeah, they may have had pictures of fish on them. I didn't yeah. get Do you know how before. many dicks that guy had to suck for that $350? <laughs> well, given the condition of his teeth, I bet he was good at it. <laughs> You know how hard it is to concentrate sucking a dick when there's ninjas chasing you? <laughs> wow, I just spit a little. Yeah. It's probably venom from that fucking snake. <laughs> Those of you who listen, uh, who are listening to this show, please don't spoil the surprise for Derek. Please, I will be fucking don't, living. Don't, please don't tell don't, his wife. Don't, don't talk about it on, on Facebook. Don't talk about it on Instagram. The video of her reaction will be fucking. You are gonna get go. the video, right? The I, that is my, video. That's my you, plan. You've got to shut your mouth. You Don't should hire a about wedding it. videographer. <laughs> so yeah, make her think you're renewing your vows. So so we 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 would appreciate it, please, if you don't 
talk too much about. This is our Why do secret. You know Derek's wife. Yeah, this is our. You no, know her. She may follow us on Facebook and actually see something. No, or something. there's actually uh, there's some people that listen to the show that she works with and stuff. So I really hope. Please that, yeah. don't say anything. Yeah, she doesn't please. listen to this show. I know she doesn't. Huh? You have access to our Facebook page. Block her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could. Uh, but yes, please keep that on the DL. Uh, I would really, really appreciate it on TikTok too. I know she follows us on TikTok, so for sure. Okay, it's our anniversary. I know we said no gifts, mm-hmm. but I had to do something for you. I fear you would love this. Well, you wrapped it. Happy anniversary. Well, it's wrong with you. Who wrapped this for you? I wrapped it. I know what they say. You know, one year's paper. What is it, like five years is wood? So, this is seven years. What in the fuck is this? It's B as a centaur, honey. Do you like it? It's horrible. What? Here, show the camera. Oh my god. Look, it's got a little cub's hat and everything. You look like an ogre. What? It's normally a oh, um, oh, can we tell a different story? That'd be good. Because you, 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 you have it told the story. We've teased all the time about the story about you and a not not alcohol, but a particular thing that makes you go to bed. Roofies? Okay, uh, which one do you want to tell about? The, about the uh, one the... that nobody's heard, not the most recent one, but the fucking funniest one. Okay, um, little known fact about me: I am a uh, chronic insomniac, uh-huh. mm-hmm. chronic severe insomniac. Most of my life, I went. Maybe getting one to two hours sleep a night, if that. Wow. Um, I was first diagnosed when I was 13 years old by one of the world's foremost terrible doctors. <laughs> uh, who said that... It was Dr. Uh, Caitlyn Jenner. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. At least it'd be more interesting. Um, yes. Um, he diagnosed me uh, saying that this was probably just a phase I was going through and that it would probably pass on its own. So basically, this doctor's... Uh, Advice was to ignore it and hope it goes away. Oh, my. He also said that uh, I should try to tell myself that I don't need sleep to try and trick my mind into falling asleep. Um, I don't know if you've ever pulled a practical joke on anyone or not, but it's damn (laughs) tough when you're in on it. Um, There's a reason you never saw the episode where Ashton punked himself. (laughs) You can't oh trick my. yourself when you oh know my. what you're doing. Oh, God. Mm-hmm. Um, so I just kind of <laughs> lived with it uh, and for the next 20-some-odd years until I was 32 years old and went to my new doctor who picked up my old doctor's torch and fucking ran with it. <laughs> nice. Uh, his advice on everything is to lose some weight and get some exercise. That's solid. Which is what he said to this. He said you should lose some weight, get a little exercise. That'll wear down some energy, make it a little more easy to get comfortable in bed. Um, basically, he told me I was too fat and lazy to sleep. <laughs> and uh, Bro, I shopped in the husky section. That's, <laughs> I get it. So I cannot I believe how offended he was when I asked for a second opinion. <laughs> so he sent me to a sleep specialist and, who diagnosed me right away. And I was like, oh, great. This is going to take, like, therapy for months, right? And I'm going to have to keep coming back once, twice a week. And she was like, or I could just write your prescription for Ambien. Oh. <laughs> but fuck yeah. Right. <laughs> Finally, a fucking solution. <laughs> a doctor who actually fucking dealt with the problem. And so I take Ambien, which is a, uh, a hypnotic sedative. Um a lot of people have reported problems with it. Like they'll wake up on their fucking roof <laughs> or behind the wheel of their car in a foreign parking lot somewhere. Um, for, for me, typically, I take it about an hour before I go to bed. Nice. And I fade off to sleep mm-hmm. and I don't have any problems with it. 
but one time <laughs> <laughs> around nine o'clock, I took it. And then my wife asked me to change a light bulb <laughs> and I went and changed it. What the fuck? And then looked at the clock and went, oh, fuck, it's 915. I better take my Ambien. <laughs> Oh, no, you so, didn't. Yep, double dosing. Oh, shit. So about 15 that minutes. That could, like, hurt. Like, that could kill you, right? I mean, is that I, is it pretty dangerous? I'm not a doctor. Oh. <laughs> Fuck. That's, that's really I can tell sad. you for a fact, no, it won't kill me. Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, that's bad. That's so really bad. anyways, about uh, 930, after double dosing, I uh, spring up from the couch with my wife and son sitting there. And declare that I'm going to make dessert. <laughs> We've already had dinner and dessert. And they're insisting, no, we don't want dessert. <laughs> I'm insisting, yes, they do. <laughs> My wife had gone to the bakery at, at uh, the grocery store and gotten some apple turnovers. Nice. I take three of them out because there were three of us. Nice. The first two I picked up like they were plums and i squeezed them and weighed and measured them and set them ginger gingerly into the microwave the third one i fired like a fucking fastball <laughs> <laughs> right in there oh that's great i start the microwave and i turn around and begin yelling at my wife not in an angry way but in a way that would suggest she's across the house well you know. She was right there. <laughs> and I told her to be sure and set the DVR. I'll be sure. Be sure and set the DVR to record Hardcastle and McCormick. Oh, my. A show that had been off the air since 1982. <laughs> Apparently, I was afraid some new episodes might come out, and I didn't want to miss them. By the way, I didn't watch that show when it was on. <laughs> At this point, my wife goes and runs to the microwave because I set it for 12 minutes. <laughs> Pre th these had already been baked. I'm just warming them up. <laughs> she shuts the so microwave and I... Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're done. I apparently put mine on a plate and went and sat down on the couch. Did you get any ice cream? I'm getting there. <laughs> I did down. not get ice cream. I cut off a big bite of the apple turnover and was about to put it in my mouth when I dropped my fork, which oh, <laughs> saved me from third degree burns because I could not find my fork because, oh, because I lost my fork in on? my belly fold <laughs> that hung over my lap. It was at least an hour before I found it. <laughs> Holy shit. That's great. We, we have a security system at the house mm -hmm. with video cameras that get sound. <laughs> nice. And so sometimes when guests come over, <laughs> guess what my wife wants to show people? <laughs> That's why I know the details of it, because I don't remember any of it. That's <laughs> fucking awesome. That's what Ambien does for me. Why is it that we call Jeremy... The 1984 Kingman County T-Ball Defensive Player of the Year Award winner. Okay. There's a story behind this. Jeremy, go. All right. I, um, in December of 2016, I had been doing stand-up about six months, and I was uh, asked to be the entertainment at a Christmas party for a local law firm. Um, I won't give their name because I don't remember it. And because uh, they're a law firm. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't know if I'm allowed to say who it was. Um, anyways, uh, I actually, Derek is the one who hooked me up with the gig. They had approached him. He'd been doing stand-up for way longer at that point. Still has. That, that won't change. I can't ever actually catch him. <laughs> um, but uh, Derek was going to be on Wheel of Fortune. So he recommended me. And he asked me if I wanted to do it. And I said, okay. So I contact the guy. I talked to a guy named Daryl, who's the senior partner for this law firm, and uh, he tells me that uh, every year for the last 17 years um, that he has organized the company Christmas party and that he has uh, every year hired local entertainers, you know, singers, dancers, jugglers, whatever, <laughs> plate spinners. <laughs> um, Steve. 
But every year he hired a different uh, Doug. Doug. Doug was his name. Um, but <laughs> Daryl said that uh, every year they hire local entertainers, and every year he keeps this a secret from the other people in the office, and then they make a game out of it where people try to guess. And uh, I think if, if anybody ever actually guessed it right, then they won some kind of a prize or something. But anyways, um, this year he had never had a stand-up comedian before. And so he was really looking forward to it. And uh, so he tells me where I was at. is in the banquet room of a sports bar. Um, he tells me the day and what time to be there. Uh, tells me it pays 100 bucks to do a 15-minute set. And um, they would cover my bar tab, which... You know, I know $100 is not life-changing money, but to go act like a jackass for 15 minutes, that's, that's a decent wage. I mean, I don't know what I had done, would have done if I wasn't going to do this, but uh, chances are I was going to be acting like a jackass, <laughs> and I was probably going to be doing it for free. So, um, so I said, yeah, absolutely, I'll take this. And, you know, back then, I mean, I rarely got paid to do stand-up, and if I did, it was you know, 20 bucks or whatever. So yeah. this was at the time the <clears throat> most I had ever been paid to do stand up. And so I was really looking forward to it. And the day comes and, uh, you know, it's a sports bar. So I want to adhere to the theme. And so I wear my lucky baseball Jersey matching cap and I show up and, uh, get there about a half hour before I'm supposed to, cause the promise of free drinks makes me very prompt. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I get there and I, I text him to let him know that I'm there. And he comes out and, oh, he is just excited. This, this is his fucking thing. <laughs> Putting this together, he is, it's just something he takes great pride in. And uh, he tells me, hey, um, look, we're actually, we just got the food served to us. So we're actually running about 30 minutes behind. So it's probably going to be about an hour. Uh, but we'll still cover your bar tab if you want to. Are you okay with that? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I am. <laughs> um, and so he, he tells me, uh, he asked if there was anything else that I needed. And at that time, I would record, video record all of my sets. And, uh, you know, so I asked if there was a place where I could set up my phone or whatever, because I'd like to go back and look at it and see where things went wrong, if I did anything wrong, or see ways I can improve, because I thought people actually gave a fuck, and, <laughs> and I actually gave a fuck at that time. So um, he said, well, we can have uh, my intern, Shelly hold your phone whenever the time comes. I said, okay. He said, how do you want me to introduce you? And I had zero credits at that time. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it, it had actually happened a couple other times where somebody asked that, and I always gave him the same answer. The 1984 Kingman County T-Ball League Defensive Player of the Year. Mm -hmm. And when I told him that, he about doubled over <laughs> laughing. He just thought that was absolutely great. And it, it had always worked in the past. It you know, <laughs> gives the crowd a little chuckle beforehand, kind of gets them on my side before I ever even take the stage. So they're ready to laugh and all that. And uh, so, you know, I'm great. He, he writes that down and he goes, man, you just, you just hang out here and uh, I'll come get you when, when we're ready and, and we'll do this. He just almost skipped back to the, <laughs> back to the <laughs> So he left me to play a game that I like to call, let's see how many beers I can drink in an hour. <laughs> and, uh, the answer to that is approximately several. Um, <laughs> several teen? Yeah, somewhere around in there. It, it's, it was a lot enough to uh, make me drunk. <laughs> and so an hour goes by. He comes and gets me and says, we're ready. Uh, and he walks me back to the banquet room. And I can see through the door that there's a little stage area set up. There's probably 40, 45 people in there. And uh, there's a, a nice little PA system with a wireless microphone and all that. He said, Wait here, and I'll, I'll go in and introduce you. Okay. He, uh, then he takes my phone, and he gives it to Shelly, the intern, and uh, we proceed. And he, he goes in, grabs the mic. He says, hey, everybody, um, just wanted to wish you all a Merry Christmas, and thank you all for another great year. We've had a really good year. We've got some interesting challenges coming up in the next year, but, you know, we're, we really look forward to the challenges, and, uh, you know, just blah, blah. Typical office Christmas bullshit. party bullshit. And he goes, now for your entertainment tonight. I know you've all been waiting. Uh, so without further ado, please welcome the 1984 Kingman County T-Ball League Defensive Player of the Year, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. And rather than the laugh I usually get, I just kind of got the... 
<laughs> and it didn't dawn on me what happened until I went back and watched the video of it. This asshole's been keeping it a secret and then never told him I was a comedian. <laughs> um, now, now, I realize that this whole thing <laughs> sounds totally absurd, but over the last five years, the, the acts that he had picked were like a, a tap dancer, an accordion player, a, a cowboy poet, a xylophone player, and a mime. So they had progressively gotten dumber every year, just worse choices. Plus, I was wearing a baseball jersey and cap, so I was dressed the part. And so I walk up to the stage, not knowing what to do here, because I had never gotten this reaction before. And they're very confused, looking at me. I thought they were just being stuck up or whatever, didn't want to, you know, didn't want to participate in the fun. And I'm thinking, what have I gotten myself into? And they're sitting there going, what the fuck is happening? Why is this happening? You know, what's he going to do? Is he going to do like a t-ball demonstration? <laughs> I, I guess that could be interesting, but he brought no equipment with him. So the only other thing you could probably do is like give a motivational speech. <laughs> Like, the lessons I learned in T-Ball helped me to win this defensive player of the year. I mean, it's not even a real award. I picked that award that <laughs> because the idea of, I don't know if you've seen much T-Ball, but they're not really playing a lot of defense. <laughs> it's the, the idea that there would be a, a defensive player of the year was just absolutely ridiculous. <clears throat> but, you know, my keep in mind, you know, if I'm going to give like some kind of motivational speech, my attorney or my, my audience is made up of attorneys. These people are very successful. <laughs> they, they've gone through college, studied for the LSATs, passed them, did well enough in college to get accepted into law school, passed law school, which is significantly harder, and then studied for and passed the bar. It's a career fueled by ambition. You don't get that job because your uncle knew a guy, you know? You don't, you don't fall ass backwards into being an attorney. You have to work really hard at it and now some fat asshole who won some obscure T-ball award three decades ago is going to come tell you how to live life? Not only is he hanging his hat on that, but he's managing to still somehow parlay that into personal appearances. <laughs> and then they kind of felt better that I wasn't going to be giving a speech because Daryl walked off with the wireless microphone. And so I'm up there looking at a, looking around, but it legitimately on the video looks like i'm just going yeah that's right drink it in <laughs> that's right <laughs> and so <laughs> at this point i've had a lot to drink remember so i'm getting pissed because i feel like i'm being rejected and you know the only bit of encouragement i got was when some guy off to the side just yells out hey way to go buddy <laughs> Which, by the way, is something you don't holler to an adult unless you're pretty sure he's legit mentally retarded. That is the only time you'll yell that, with the exception of if the guy's name happens to be Buddy. And that was not the case here. So, they, they were looking over at their boss. This, this is the senior partner. They've hitched their careers to this guy, oh, and he's just smiling his ass off. He loves it. And because he knows what's happening, nobody else does. They're looking at this guy who apparently thought this was a good idea. <laughs> oh my God, what did, what have we gotten ourselves into? <laughs> so they were very, very confused, which had to be just multiplied exponentially when I finally got the microphone and start talking about my dick. <laughs> <laughs> and they just weren't getting it. And by the end, a few of them were figuring out what was going on. But I was already just phoning it in at this point, thinking, oh, these stuck-up fucking assholes. Fuck them. And so I was literally, like, watching my watch, and I walked off stage in mid-joke. I was like, and so there I am with my dick in the flower pot. And good night, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, so I, I walk off stage. And I go up to Daryl, who's gone out back out into the hallway by now, and I'm ready for a fucking fight because I think he's going to not pay me or whatever. And um, 
surprisingly, he peels off a hundred dollar bill and hands it to me. But uh, he says to me, you know, boy, I sure thought that'd go better. Now I pulled a Daryl here. I've still got the mic in my hand <laughs> and it's hot. <laughs> and I said, yeah, you'd think for $400 an hour plus expenses, you'd get better results. Now you know how your clients must feel. <laughs> and I, I dropped the mic <laughs> and strutted out of there like I had just taken on the world until I remembered Shelly still had my fucking phone. <laughs> So it got really awkward when I had to come back in for it. <laughs> but yeah, that was the most awkward time that I ever had on a comedy stage. Uh, and that's where he gets the 1984. That's where I put account. that as my intro ever since then because it doesn't make for a really good story. Oh, and God. now about this point, we get to have the most fun. I know we have my new favorite segment, which is Bad Advice with Jeremy, but those are so much better whenever they are coming from him. And I know it's a very new segment. So instead of putting some of those in, I wanted to take pretty much what got us to where we were, which was the overrated or underrated and the questions and preguntas. Some of these have gone mega viral. Some of them are still being stolen from us and used as their own and getting people millions of followers, which is actually true. Um, but this is what our bread and butter end up becoming really. Um, some of the funniest things ever have literally been from this show, from this segment, and it's the longest one, so I hope you enjoy all of it. What sport would be the funniest sport to watch if you had to add a mandatory amount of alcohol? NASCAR. <laughs> <laughs> Hands down. Fucking awesome. No. There's no cops yes. in NASCAR. <laughs> yeah, there is no, no. DUI. What's the pace car going to pull you over? Good luck catching you. No, I, I no. That I don't would be that'd be the only way I would watch NASCAR <laughs> is if they were drunk. That is it. <laughs> and they had cop cars chasing after. No, them. not even that. Just I drunk. Would, That's all want, I want. I would want that. I couldn't do NASCAR though. I, I I think, and I'm being dead serious. This this makes me laugh more than anything in the world. Have you ever seen those high dive videos wherever somebody tries to do a flip and just mm -hmm. epically fails so bad, and then like face flop into the pool yeah but you would that's die in a nascar <laughs> that, holy that'd be I, great i don't want anybody to die but i want to i just laugh. don't want any more nascar i want that's true things found in hillbilly fortune cookies you'll never be able to read this <laughs> <laughs> i like it oh or what about like You'll actually I'm, find a real woman that's not related to you. Oh uh, yeah, like an agreeable romance might be able or might begin to take on the appearance. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Of your sister. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> Y'all pay too much for that Jeep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Well Let's uh, go mudding. <laughs> yeah. Rejected names for the seven dwarfs. Herpy, scabby, creepy, stanky, scotty, <laughs> lustful, and cock. <laughs> okay. I wouldn't think of it like that. I just I just have the seven midgets. That was all I had. Oh, so you went group. So you're yeah, you, group. You do group think. You're identity politics. Okay. <laughs> okay. I see you're fucking communist. Okay. <laughs> all right, it. Derek, what are the rejected names for the seven dwarfs? Pissy, Hansy, Horny, Fruity, Schizo, Rapey, and Glenn. Fucking <laughs> Rapey. <laughs> and there's actually only... There's only... Uh, Glenn six, doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> six dwarves. <laughs> but one of them is split personality. Rapey and Glenn are the same guy. <laughs> but he can turn at any time. <laughs> That's fucking great. <laughs> Repeated Glenn. <laughs> the new sobriety test requires you to blank to prove you're not drunk. Scroll through Tinder. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Who are you swiping on? You know what I mean? Standards kind of get a little bit lower and lower the drunker you get. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh my god yeah i think that would fucking do it oh totally you see some fucking hog yeah and you're and like he's... you know what she's fucking hot <laughs> i'm gonna fuck that <laughs> hands behind your back <laughs> yeah exactly 
Uh, how about you, Jeremy? I think they should just ask, would you put this on and present you with a Long John Silver's hat? <laughs> <laughs> And if you say, fuck yeah, you're drunk. <laughs> uh, dead giveaway. Uh, Can you finish this McChicken? <laughs> I eat it all in one bite. Uh, no, I can't. No, I can't. <laughs> uh, a name for a dating site for people over 80. Notmuchlonger.com. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How about you, Derek? Widow Smash. <laughs> yeah. And I, I came up with Sleazy Seniors. Mm-hmm. Bucketlist.com. <laughs> Bucketlist.com. <laughs> oh, s and for Geriatrics.com. Overrated or underrated? <laughs> Selfies with overseas orphans. <laughs> <laughs> This is my favorite one <laughs> ever. This is the most underrated thing in the history of the world. <laughs> yeah. the, to go to go to somebody else's home nation, knowing you ain't got to stay in that shithole. <sighs> Seeing people whose parents are dead and be like, "Hey, man, come here." <laughs> <laughs> I. I have a picture. I believe I've sent it to you, Scotty, and you feel free to use it if you make a TikTok out of this. <laughs> sure. I have a picture that I took with Doug Stanhope that looks a lot like how <laughs> a a selfie with an uh, overseas orphan. Why has it got to be overseas, by the way? I don't know. <laughs> that's um, that's really specific. <laughs> Doesn't have to be necessarily from a shit country, I guess. I, I mean, you know. You I, could I, go to Sweden. Yeah. <laughs> they got orphans there. Sure. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Sour Patch Kids. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. It created some product confusement. <laughs> no, I'm sure. There's a big difference in taste. Um, <laughs> it's just salty. Uh, I wouldn't know, Scotty. Um <laughs> I've been told. I don't I, know. I was more going on the outside oh, of the condom, and uh, I, I, at my wife's request, don't salt the condoms. <laughs> <laughs> well, not pre. Yeah. I think it's weird that my wife requests I use a condom, <laughs> as we are both fixed. <laughs> uh, I had uh, sperm stoppers. Okay. That's mm. mine. All right, Derek, how about you? Oh, gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. <laughs> Any of those? <laughs> Fucking kidnappers. <laughs> if you could turn any movie into a porno, which movie would you choose? Toy Story. <laughs> <laughs> you got a friend in me, literally. Fuck, you got <laughs> You got Woody and Buzz already. I mean, mm-hmm. for fuck, it's, that's, let, let's go. <laughs> plastic on plastic, man. Let's throw down. Get right? that girl cowboy in there. That's right. Shove a Lincoln log up there. Let's go. <laughs> you want to talk it. reverse cowgirl? Jesus. Yeah. Oh, my God. Ugh. Plus, I want to hear Randy Newman do the theme song for a porno <laughs> movie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you got me crazy. <laughs> Oh, okay. Um, I've got a friend in me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I'm literally crying. I'm going to take... Oh, Lord. I think I'm going to take Ghostbusters. Mm. Either that or, or Riding Miss Daisy. Riding Miss Daisy. Okay. <laughs> Is that the sequel to Driving? <laughs> yes, that's what okay. it's called. It's called Riding so Miss Daisy. Is, he, is so Morgan Freeman reverse cowgirl in it? Is that what he's up there doing? He's getting pegged. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're into that, I guess. <laughs> I just got to I'll stay. be down in just a minute, yeah. Miss Maisie. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Okay, Jeremy. If, uh, you, if you could turn any movie into a porno, which movie would you choose? Just because I'm into some weird shit. Alien versus Predator. <laughs> <laughs> That's I like the great. tentacle porn. That's, that's what I'm into. Disgusting. A lot of anime. 
Saw, uh, that in a, saw that in a prison once. Yeah? Yeah, child molester and an immigrant were going at it. It was illegal alien versus sexual predator. <laughs> Not nice. Yeah. What Sonic would, the Hedgehog would trade all of his rings for? A kazoo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe a whoopee ring or something. Like, oh, yeah, for <laughs> sure. Yeah. Hell yeah. Whoopee cushion. Oh, yeah. Derek? Crack cocaine. <laughs> yeah, that every yeah. fucking time you gotta know. Yeah, you, he's gonna do that. Uh, at first, it starts off trading his rings, yeah. and then after that, he just ends up like knuckles. I, I think. So. I, I think he'd go and buy an echidna, and yeah. just keep it as his pet. Yeah, in a small, way too small cage, just to show off to knuckles. <laughs> yeah, uh, isn't that what he was? An echidna? I don't know. Who Sonic? Knuckles. Oh, I don't know. I have no idea. All I know is that Tails is another character, and I think yeah, he was a fox, wasn't he? Was it he? Oh, well, that works perfectly. Who I'm wants- sorry for fucking assuming his gender. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> How many women do you know named Knuckles? <laughs> Four Knuckles, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sounds sh- like a chick you don't want to fuck with in prison. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is Betty and this is Knuckles. <laughs> Guess which way she swings. <laughs> oh, uh, hope you like broomsticks. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. If they made a candle about your life, what would it smell like? Uh, a combination of whiskey sweats, Axe body spray, and old pizza. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, let's... All self-explanatory. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's, uh... Shit. That was that. Yeah, that's about dead on. <laughs> yeah. Dead on. Yeah. Finally, you got one. That's what it is. There you go, Jeremy. Yeah, my life is shit. <laughs> no, uh, no, I'm gonna go ahead and stay with that. I'm gonna go with shit. Yeah, yeah. that's a good one. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Fried chicken, puss, and disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Is there a comma between fried chicken and puss, or, or is it fried chicken puss? <laughs> that's okay. Some people like the livers or the gizzards. I like the puss. <laughs> Fried chicken puss. Yeah. <laughs> That's the best kind. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Tastes I'll like tastes like chicken. Smells like Long John Silver. I'll, ta- I'll take a basket of fried chicken puss. <laughs> and a, and a pirate hat. <laughs> pirate hat, yeah. <laughs> it's actually that Long John Silver's, that's the, the popcorn version of their chicken planks or the chicken puss. <laughs> Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? Oh, fuck. Blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same I'm, fucking yeah, way. Yeah, they hurt my jaw. Yeah, I don't <laughs> even like... I mean, son of a bitch. I don't really like giving blowjobs as much as <laughs> I let on. I, I think I like to make people think I like them more than I do. Yeah. <laughs> but cheese, fuck. I mean, fuck. I always know when I'm going to bite into a mozzarella stick when that explosion mm-hmm. in the back of my throat's oh, going to be. Whoa. But I just don't know whenever I'm giving a blowjob. There oh. are just times when I hanker for a hunk of cheese. Oh, man. Oh, you guys are too young for that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's, uh, your, uh, what's your warning label say there, Jeremy? Uh, do not fuck with me at Lowe's. <laughs> 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 oh shit oh that's a good one i love that one there jeremy <laughs> it's it's a very specific one you can fuck with me anywhere else just not a lowe's apparently home depot menards you're fine yeah <laughs> but second, no, i'm, you fucking, I'm, second, I'm in you... such a good mood at menards i just say big money yeah menards. there you go what's the next one you got jeremy what, what would your mascot be be a drunk pack of cigarettes <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> elaborate. Just elaborate. I, I just, I feel like that <laughs> really captures <laughs> my essence. <laughs> I'm, you know, you. a lot of times I get drunk and I'm <laughs> unpleasant and bad for you. I don't usually smell all that great. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, but I'm I'm cool and smooth, <laughs> <laughs> and I can make you look tough. <laughs> so, yeah. What's his name? <laughs> it's the kid oh. Scotty or Scooter. I tell you that. No, no, that's been taken. Lester. <laughs> Lester. Lester. Uh-huh. Okay. 
We'll go with that. I'm surprised, Jeremy. Uh, I thought for sure Jeremy was just going to be an Apple tur- or an Ambien that <laughs> shoots Apple turnovers out of a T-shirt cannon. <laughs> nope, cigarettes. Cigarettes, <laughs> drunk bag cigarettes. All right. No. All right. That's, that's fair. <laughs> what are some things you can yell in bed and that you can also yell at a sporting event? Hmm. You fucking suck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Eat my, my ass, you dirty bastard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My sister's better than you. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> A terrible drill sergeant would never stop yelling blank. <laughs> Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> It's Yahtzee time! <laughs> <laughs> Which I, I don't feel... I never hear people who've been through basic ever talking about playing a lot of Yahtzee. No, they don't. <laughs> but this one drill sergeant insists on it. Oh. At least 12 hours a day of Yahtzee. <laughs> <laughs> and a terrible thing to say to a bouncer closely examining your fake ID. J- Jeremy? Mm. Yeah, I used to be Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> And a woman. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, God. Yeah, I was 6'10", but they cut off my fucking knees. Mm. (laughs) (laughs) I lost my shins in the war. (laughs) Rejected Ben and Jerry's ice cream flavors. Uh, Cholo Chew. (laughs) <laughs> oh, god. oh god it tastes like flannel and tattoo ink <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> jesus christ uh how about you Derek? well you know ben and jerry's always has those creative names mm-hmm. so i got a few of those okay uh i got cuck oatmeal cookie oh, okay <laughs> uh Derek show vanilla <laughs> oh god uh peanut butter couples therapy <laughs> and holocaustachio <laughs> It tastes like pistachio and ashes. And ashes oh, yeah. God. That's so fucked up. Oh, Jesus. And it will put the weight on you. I'm sure it will. <laughs> uh. <laughs> or it's the only kind that's slimming. The only ice cream that's slimming out there. Uh, it comes with a free ring. Yeah. I went to... Uh, Come on, guys. I heard Holocaust victims listen to this show. <laughs> <laughs> if you could add you piece of shit at the end of any famous movie quote, what would it be? Uh, you had me at hello. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Because that would really create some confusion. <laughs> Is she taking me back or not? Yeah. You had me at hello, you piece uh, of shit. Okay. Derek? Hakuna Matata, you <laughs> piece of shit. <laughs> it means no worries, <laughs> you piece of shit. <laughs> Wait, does that guy like me? I said it means no worries, you piece of shit. <laughs> that is great. Uh, I, mine is bullshit. Mm-hmm. Probably. It, it, it really is. I, I can only think of... Uh, uh, I am your father, you piece of shit, from Darth Vader. Mm-hmm. That That's was actually I... your father. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> he actually says that. No, he totally does. Uh, things you don't want to be shouting at a party when the music suddenly stops. I roofied like eight chicks in here. <laughs> First one that falls is mine. <laughs> Animals that did not make it into the song, Old MacDonald had a farm. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a racist parrot, (laughs) E-I-E-I-O, with (laughs) and a (laughs) here, there, everywhere, (laughs) Old MacDonald had a farm, (laughs) E-I-E-I-O. 
I'm going to have to edit that out. <laughs> Probably so. Okay. I would like that very much. <laughs> Where is the best place to wear assless chaps? Okay. I, I'm going to do this for the last fucking time. <laughs> All chaps are assless. <laughs> if your chaps have an ass in them, they're pants. <laughs> I'm so sick of this shit. So many people have asked us about assless chaps, and it's pissing me off. <laughs> Dr. Seuss breakup lines. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, I heard you the first time. All right. I'll go, I guess. Uh-huh. Uh, I got a few. Uh-oh. Uh, you're not one in a million. You're one of a few. I know math is hard. Get out, bitch. We're through. <laughs> Nice. I also have one bitch, two bitch, fuck bitch, you bitch. <laughs> and maybe Christmas, he thought, doesn't come from a store. I'm through buying you stuff, you dumb fucking whore. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> um, I actually, I, I got one. Uh, let's see. Uh, a person is a person no matter how small, but you're being a cunt and I don't like it at all. Call your mom to come get you, pack up your shit, you're a horrible person. I fucking quit. There you go. That's mine. Okay. Jeremy? I'll no longer touch that nasty hole, not with a two or a four or a ten-foot pole. <laughs> <laughs> what is something strange for a priest to say? Put your clothes back on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know what you think I am. <laughs> Asalaamu Alaikum. <laughs> uh, where can we find the podcast? Where all podcasts can be found. Fucking everywhere. I'm <laughs> shocked. I, I get mine in the bottom of the cereal box. Yeah. Absolutely. Or, or in a back alley behind a barber shop. There's some storm mm -hmm. cellars that uh, that keep us there. Um, mm -hmm. That's where I keep Derek and Jeremy on the days we're not doing the show. Yeah, we're watching the kids down there for him. That's right. <laughs> got to make sure they're fed. Two of them are malnourished. I, get, I really love the fact that they asked this question to be answered on the podcast that they don't know how to find. <laughs> this will Everybody who's hearing this right now found the fucking podcast. <laughs> <laughs> and it probably wasn't by chance. No. I like how it says Lincoln bio on any of the TikTok videos. We're like, we're, I just don't know where to find it. <laughs> and it's What's the name of it? I don't know. Maybe it's that big fucking <laughs> sign behind my head. <laughs> maybe that's what it is. <laughs> yeah, but who's on it? Maybe it's the three guys on that <laughs> big fucking sign behind my head. <laughs> Yeah, dead giveaway. Yeah, it's that's, got the that's, pictures of all three of us, and our heads are the size of Albert Poole. <laughs> <laughs> and about now in the show is normally whenever we would get to one of my favorite parts and one of most of everybody's favorite parts, which is the laughing on the sidelines draft. I know you guys hate it when I do that, but I don't care. Um, obviously, I can't do a draft not with by, you know just myself. I mean, I'm just gonna win and buy myself another fucking championship belt, anyways. So. I thought it would actually be a lot more fun to have you guys be a part of the draft. So what I'm going to do, obviously there are some moments in here that aren't all there. I tried to find as many of them as I could. But instead of having the draft between us, it's going to be between you guys. I'm going to put on Facebook a, a, a couple of different options that you can pick to be what your favorite laughing on the sidelines moment over the last three years. And you can vote by using your, the corresponding emoji. And I will put that on Facebook Wednesday following this episode. So if you guys would do us a favor, go to facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines and vote for your favorite moment. But now, it, it, it's not a laughing on the sidelines show if we don't have somewhat of a, of a compilation of some of our favorite shitty situations. Okay, uh, so would you rather... Is it an Otis elevator? Yeah. That we're going to be on? Okay. Do they have another company? Not that I'll ride. Okay. I'm brand loyal. <laughs> <laughs> That was fucking great. I don't know why that was so funny to me, but that's fucking hilarious. It's so fucking dumb. Who <laughs> would be like, fuck it, if it's not an Otis, I'm not Stop getting taking on the that. stairs. Oh, fuck yeah. I won't stay at this hotel. <laughs> 
brand loyalty for <laughs> elevators. <laughs> Gotta love it. Is that a notice you guys are running? No? <laughs> you can you do me a favor? Cancel my fucking uh, reservation. I, I'd like to make a reservation, but I got a question first. <laughs> what brand? You guys running out of there? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the stupidest fucking <laughs> joke. <laughs> in weird and stuff. Oh, <laughs> By the way, I do know a somewhat interesting fact about Otis elevators. Because okay, if you push uh, your floor number and the door close button at the same time, it will act as an express elevator and take you directly there and won't stop anywhere. Oh, that, that is actually the world's first uh, electric hack. Oh, ever really? Invented, yeah. Oh, it's considered to be the first ever hack. Wow. For anything, yeah. Push the floor and the close That's button. That's why I love them so much. <laughs> so you push the close button and, and the floor, floor, floor number and you hold it and it won't stop at any other floor. At the same time? How long do you have to hold it? I think while you're while it's going, oh, while it's while it's going, going up. up. Oh. Yeah. Huh. Damn, that's kind of cool. I mean, I don't know. You'll have to look it up. No, I'm going to fucking wish. try it. Call time. Otis. <laughs> yeah, Ask him. Call, call that guy. It's just uh, one guy that puts them all in. <laughs> <laughs> God damn I'm it. brand loyal. I'm brand loyal. Okay. <laughs> All right. So this week's shitty situation again. You're getting apparently on none other than an Otis fucking elevator. I see Jeremy showing up <laughs> with an Otis hat on. <laughs> on guys. I'm gonna get an Otis t-shirt. <laughs> a jersey. <laughs> I'm gonna get an Otis jersey. <laughs> Number one and the name on it, Otis. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> the team name would be the Elevators. I'm going to get a Royals jersey, an Amos Otis <laughs> Royals jersey. God damn it. Okay. Uh, and when you get on this elevator, uh, would you rather walk in on the elevator where there is a child who has just shit himself, or you walk in onto the elevator where that child has, instead, he has pushed all of the buttons that you have to go up and ride each and hit each and every floor? Yeah, somehow you got the penthouse. Yeah, exactly. Oh, fuck. And I'm not talking about the forum. I I don't do... I, whenever I was an EMT, there's one thing I don't do very well, and that's shit and puke. That smell makes... Seems me, like the wrong career then. <laughs> that's why I didn't do it very much, or very much longer. Uh, I, I start to gag whenever I'm picking up dog shit. I, so shit, I... I'm, I can't do it. I got a lot of time, though, when I'm on vacation. So if I have to ride 56, well, 55 floors on an Otis, it's going to be a great experience. So I'm just going to go with that. Mm-hmm. You know, the smoothest elevators out there. Otis. Absolutely. Number one. <laughs> They're sponsoring. <laughs> <laughs> if I could, I'd put one in my house. Oh. But they're not waterproof. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, how about you, Derek? Oh, boy. I'm going to go with the... Uh... With the stinky kid. Oh, wow. At, at least it's only, uh, you're stuck there for a few minutes, but if you're going every fucking floor, 56, you're stuck five. there for an hour. Yeah. Fuck yeah. that. Oh, so man. I'm going to go with the stinky kid and then just have my fucking like, sure shirt up. up over my fucking nose the whole time uh-huh. and, and then just fantasize about murdering him. <laughs> I'm going to punch him in the face. Mm-hmm. That's something that, that if you do that, you get punched in the face every time. If you murder a kid? No. If he, if a kid shits his pants. Uh, they, like, if you shit your pants, you can get punched in the face. That's a, that's a bad thing. That's how you don't actually get out of everything. Mm-hmm. It, Nobody you, wants to go near poopy yeah, pants. Yeah, that's absolutely true. <laughs> that's true, yeah. <laughs> how about you there, Jeremy? Uh, I'm going with the kid that shit his pants, too. And I'll tell you why. Oh. Actually, no, I won't. Okay. That's one of those things that Keep if you do as a kid, it. it's cute. Surprise! <laughs> as an adult. Yes. <laughs> um, no. Uh, the thing is, is that the kid who pushed all the buttons, I'm going to beat the shit out of him. <laughs> <laughs> so then I'll have to stop at every floor with a kid who's got shit pants. <laughs> so at least the one with the shitty diaper is going to be a faster ride. Yeah, that's true. Would you rather take a full month... Cash in your 401k, buy a Winnebago, and take a, a full grand tour of Delaware based <laughs> off of the shit that we've said. See the sights? See Only the sights? To see the sights. <laughs> for a month. For, for a month. And you basically <laughs> cashed in your retirement <sighs> to buy a fucking Winnebago. <laughs> okay. 
I'm I, I'm going brand specific too. Winnebago. Winnebago. Be. Okay. Winnebago. Um, or would you rather uh, date a magician who every <laughs> time you introduce him or her to anyone, they do the trick where they pull handkerchiefs out of your asshole. <laughs> How long does that trick last? Four and a half minutes. <laughs> okay. And every time they're like, um, okay, they're like, no, 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 hang on. There's more. There's more. <laughs> okay. Uh, God damn it. I'm going to Delaware, kids. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to Delaware. Yeah, All Scotty's right. already dated a magician that did that. Yeah, and it was fucking annoying as hell. Kept on trying to touch my butt. I'm I'm out. I'm totally out of that. And uh, I don't know. I'm sure we got some listeners in Delaware. Sounds like a good place. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, Las Vegas and Chicago and stuff like that. I'm I'm good. All right. Okay. St. Louis. You know. Well, <clears throat> I, I'm going to Delaware too. But, yeah. But here's why. Okay. If I'm cashing out my retirement to buy a Winnebago, I just bought a Winnebago for thirteen dollars, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm pretty sure I can at least get my money's worth back out of that yep. when I resell it after I take in the lovely sights of Delaware. <laughs> Absolutely, uh, all that it has to offer, and I'm not working for a month. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. Let's go. Yeah, bro. I'm I mean, Delaware it up. I'll yeah. see everything. Uh, yeah. I'll see the Statue of Liberty up there in New York, Delaware. Delaware. Yeah. I'm going to go see the, the I've, sites I've, of the Delaware Strip down there in Las Vegas, yeah, Delaware. Yeah, Eiffel Tower in Paris, Delaware. Go see the Pearl Harbor Memorial yeah, in Delaware. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and the Gangster Rap Hall of Fame in Dover. <laughs> That's mm-hmm. right. You got to go see you that. You got to go see that. Yeah, chance you might run into Snoop. I'll wear my Compton hat. Yep. I think you get in half price if you do that. Yep, for sure. Go catch a Dodger game. Yeah, mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the Delaware Dodgers. <laughs> mm-hmm. I would love to do that. Well, yeah, the the Los Angeles, the Los Angeles Angels of Delaware. That's, uh, yeah. It's the single A independent team out of Dover, out well, of Delaware. Yeah, but they got Major League Heart. Okay, yeah. Um, listen, oh. everything you just described sounds real good, but God, I love magic. <laughs> I really do. I, I wish I was making that part up. Um, <laughs> I know it's not real. Yeah. But I hate when people blow the trick. Uh-huh. Let me fucking think for a minute that it is. Yeah. I don't I don't go into it thinking they're really fucking magical, but it's cool the way they do it. Yeah. And I have stupid non-dexterous fingers so I can never pull off sleight of hand of any kind. Yep. So, yeah, uh not to mention f- fucking free handkerchief. Yeah. So, <laughs> for yeah, life. For life if you marry him. And you know what the upkeep on a fucking Winnebago is like? Jesus. <laughs> 13 <laughs> bucks. It's worth it. It's, it's right. Derek. Hmm. What's our shitty situation? Well, last week you gave us a shitty situation of would you rather eat something really, really, really hot? No, no. No, I was very specific in what I... The one chip? The one chip challenge. Or would you rather eat something very, very disgusting? Mm-hmm. Um... And this week, uh, we, we made our choices last week, and it looks like this week we're following through. This is going to fucking suck. So Scotty has the uh, Pocky One Chip Challenge. Yeah. I have the Bean Boozled uh, Jelly Beans with uh, Stinky Sock, Barf, uh, Dishwater, Dead Fish, Boogers, which I ate a lot as a kid, so I should probably be <laughs> all right with that one. Yeah. Rotten Egg, which will be really gross. That's going to be like eat my own farts. I'm going to be honest with you. If... That's going to be weird if you bite right into one and go, oh, yeah, it's boogers. <laughs> if you just recognize it right away. Boogers. Yeah. Uh, Roll it around in between my two fingers and <laughs> pop it back in. Uh, and then Jeremy looks like he's got the uh, Little Nitro, world's hottest gummy bear. Yeah. I, this wasn't a choice last week, but apparently they only had one of the uh, One Chip Challenge chips. So uh, Derek picked this thing. Now, this is not fucking around. I want to I wanna be very <laughs> clear on this. <laughs> Um, I'm going to open my gross thing here. All right. Yeah. What this says right here, this product is extremely spicy and has the potential to cause skin and or mouth irritation. <laughs> just, um, just like Jeremy's cock. It's intended for adults only, which means I get to fuck it. <laughs> and uh, should be kept out of reach of children and or pets. I was going to give it to Scotty's dog. <laughs> Thank God. And I still might. Okay. Um, 
mostly because I hate dogs. Uh, uh, let's see. No, I love dogs. Um, how many does Derek have to eat of these? Is there a limit, or are you just handfulling them? I'm not handfulling them. Okay, are you eating one I, at a time. I think three. I think I should eat three. Three, three sounds about right. I think, I think five. Fair. I'm I gonna go three. Is, I think three is fair here. If he gets three easy ones, I'm gonna be so pissed. <laughs> And I'll spin it. Yeah, what if they I'll just do the fucking spinner thing? L- luckiest, Grape and orange and cherry. Yeah, luckiest piece of shit in the <laughs> well, world. I don't like jelly beans, though, so I don't think I can win. Well, then your life is fucked, isn't uh, it? Are we doing um, this all at the same now, time or separately? Now, I, I want to point out, I brought this up here on oh. uh, earlier. Uh, this is 9 million on the Scoville scale, okay. which I brought up about uh, the yeah, yeah, yeah. hot nature of peppers. Uh-huh. Um, 9 million on the Scoville scale. For a quick reference, Tabasco sauce registers at three thousand. <laughs> God damn so, it! So this is not just some pussy cop out here when we're talking about this gummy bear thing. Oh my god! So I'm gonna open this up. And then are we doing this all at the same time? No, I think we got to go one by one. Okay. All right, Jeremy. Yeah. Go ahead, buddy. What the fuck? Because <laughs> you're the first one to open. Well done, fearless leader. Uh, no, I'm not open. I'm just in the plastic casing like all your dildas come in. I think... <laughs> <laughs> your dildas. Your dildas. I think out of all of us... That's what Pop says. Uh-huh. I think I think out of all of us, you're going to survive the longest because I think when I eat this fucking thing... Because I'm a thing, fucking survivor, Scotty. I'm going to die. Like I, I'm going to be out for at least 10 to 15 minutes. I am a survivor. Then I got or fucking hours. eye of the tiger. Then we finally get our own show. Oh, I'm going to die. We get Matt on board. Oh, mm. Jesus. This is going to suck. Okay. Uh, you want to go ahead and go, Jeremy? Yeah, I'll go. Okay. Oh. I do not... There we go. I have a feeling this is going to catch me by surprise. <laughs> Probably. It, it looks like cherry. Can I smell it? And Can smell it? Please. I can't smell it from where I'm at, and I'm trying to refrain. It's not bad. I'm going to guess that the juices will flow <laughs> once I bite into it. Uh. Holy fuck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Number one, how long was that sitting on a fucking shelf? <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Man, <of> fucking concrete! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> it's not that bad, guys. <laughs> oh, fuck! I should have taken the goddamn gummy bear. Yeah, you should have. <laughs> oh, that's going to get to me later. <laughs> oh, no, it's coming up. It's it's uh, it's sneaking up on me. Right. Uh, I got to do three of these, right? Five. We said three. I don't care. I'm at, doing three. At, until you get a nasty one. Uh, that's on the line. Oh, What's that? God. I don't know. Birthday cake or dirty dishwasher? I'm going to be honest. This isn't getting better, guys. <laughs> it is getting better? It's not. Uh-uh. <laughs> Uh-uh. Uh, please be good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that's dishwasher. <laughs> there we go. Oh, God. Yeah, you got to... Uh, you gotta, you gotta finish it. God right. damn it! This Bro. is gonna suck. That's, no, that, my body is trying everything to reject this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> that tastes exactly like dishwater. <laughs> oh, oh, good. oh God! Let me close the palate. <laughs> oh, I'm just prolonging the inevitable right now. This sucks so bad. Oh, that was fucking terrible. That tastes exactly like that. <laughs> oh, that they're they're amazing at doing oh. that. By the way. Making shit taste exactly like juicy it's pear to. or boogers. I've eaten a lot of both of these <laughs> throughout my life. Oh, this is gonna suck. We're gonna go here. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing at you, Jeremy. Yeah, this is gonna come around tenfold. <laughs> oh, <that's> booger. <laughs> <laughs> no, that tastes anywhere. <laughs> My oh. side is hurting. Oh. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. That booger's going to come right out of my nose. Oh, God. Bro, just sitting in the back of my throat. All right. Oh, last one. Yeah, you better give me one of those. These are not hand it's wipes, the by the way. They are just, what? <laughs> Disinfectant wipes. Um, What's that one? That's I booger again. I'll skip that one because I already did that one. Okay, yeah. We need to get you a puke one. 
That's dishwasher again. Uh, get a puke one. I don't want a puke one. That's that one. Coconut or spoiled milk? Oh, please, God, be fucking coconut. <laughs> no, be spoiled milk. Oh, be spoiled I'd milk. honestly rather have spoiled milk. <laughs> <laughs> please be coconut. <laughs> oh, oh. Nope. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> At least you got all three bad ones. Oh. Uh, now this is going to suck. Oh. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> go ahead. Take these over there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> That's fucking terrible. Well, good. Oh, this is oh. going to suck. Oh, shit. Okay, yeah, all in the, teeth. the I, I've been told that this is uh, bad decisions by multiple people that have actually done this. Uh, yeah, I don't think anybody's been happy to do that. No. Oh, no. How the fuck did I get bad ones all three times? Oh, no, this is going to be Oh, awful. my God. Does that oh. say what, it, oh. ra- what oh. it ranks on the Scoville scale? I have no idea, but it came out in pieces. Oh, boy. I'm not doing more than one of these goddamn things. you got to do it. It's the one-chip challenge. I'll do the big one. It's the one-chip challenge. I'm not going to shove three of these fucking things in my mouth. Sure you can. Shove them in. Pretend they're horse pussy. (laughs) (laughs) You Uh, got them. God. You're a fucking champ. This is going to suck. All right. If I can't sign off, it's because of Derek. I'll take over. We'll call Matt. that one. It's coming in. Mm-hmm. It's like an explosion in your mouth <coughs> of nothing good. That's, that smells good. You got one to go. Uh-uh, fuck off. Uh, <laughs> uh, finish that one. Oh, fuck off. Come on. Uh-uh. You didn't even do it. <sighs> Prove to the world your manlyhood. You got this. I'm Wash here. your hands off, please. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to see you lose an eye, which could actually happen for oh, yeah. me. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> I see a guy with a missing eye, and I just want to fuck it. So. Oh, oh. Oh, Boy, no. oh, we no. had something planned for the, for the end of the show. Oh, no. Oh, oh boy. Oh, that's awful. The best thing I can say about this gummy bear, it is, it is not coconut. <laughs> that, oh. oh. Uh, I'm actually keeping it down. I'm impressed with myself. <laughs> uh, uh. I would be impressed with you, but I'm too busy fighting my own fucking pains over here. We only really ate two thirds of the chip. That was enough. <laughs> oh, that was enough. Not by standard rules. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's the two thirds chip think, challenge, which I think means he's got to eat three gum, uh, jelly beans, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, you want to chase it down with some jelly I'll, beans? I'll do that next uh, next episode, guys. Uh huh. Thank you for watching the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. Uh-huh. Are you signing off already? Oh, yeah. We and Jeremy had something we want to talk about. Uh, yeah, you want, you want me to take it home? Yeah, go. go you guys go ahead. <laughs> hey, guys. Uh, we all sure do enjoy the shitty situation. We also enjoy uh, a little bit of horse pussy and uh, drippy crack. Oh, yeah. But there's a product out there that we'd like to talk about that we think your kids are going to love, and that's Legos Building Blocks. <laughs> they are absolutely wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. If you ever want to really just unlock your kids just creative abilities do it for your children Derek what have you done with Legos you know I built a full scale model of Auschwitz Uh, really yeah working model of Auschwitz beautiful yes it actually absolutely beautiful it melted my Lego juice all right it did it oh god god and you know I didn't actually make go that intricate I just made a lot of swastikas with it now (laughs) if Legos would like us to stop talking about them (laughs) They're going to have to pay us money. Otherwise, we're going to talk about Legos every episode. <laughs> Legos, unlock your child's potential. <laughs> Brought to you by Horse Pussy and Drippy Crack. <sighs> <sighs> this is the worst guys, decision I've ever made. Other than to do this podcast. No, I love doing um, the show. <laughs> I what do you do it. now, now that you know what real pain is? <laughs> now you know how we feel sitting next to you every week. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now I get a free pass next week, right? Nope. Okay. Um, <laughs> you got to finish that chip. Uh, yeah. uh, Kiss my ass. <laughs> Listen. Kiss my ass. Uh, this, this gummy bear is the worst decision I ever made, uh, but I'm not a complete puss. Uh, I, I kept uh, it down. I actually kept it down. Well, not yet. You still got another third to go. Kiss my fucking ass. 
Uh. And last, but certainly not least, this is about the time where we start wrapping up every single episode and doing something that we've done ever since we were called the Unfiltered Sportscast. We always would end the show, and all of a sudden, Derek would come up with something to tell all of those people that don't like us. And here's a compilation of all of those things, and I hope you really enjoy it. But before we get to that point, guys... We really just want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Over the last couple of years, all of a sudden, it started our, our little podcast that we were doing just for fun has now grown into something a lot more. And thank thank all of you for subscribing, for sharing, for commenting. It really helps us grow. And over the last several years, it's been exponentially bigger. And, and we want to thank all of you guys for doing that. Every time you comment on a TikTok or share a TikTok or like it, it means a lot. And it just means that so many more people will eventually find us. So thank you for doing that. If you want to keep on seeing content, that's the way to do it, is to tell anybody that you know to check us out. And so without further ado, guys, uh, we like to say thank you so much. And as always, if you like us, do us a favor and tell your friends. But if you don't like us, like us. I hope you teabag a bucket of rattlesnakes. <laughs> we hope you get stuck in a dunk tank full of jizz and Greg Maddox is throwing at the target. <laughs> Uh, we hope you get Parkinson's disease and someone makes a bobblehead of you and you can't tell if they admire you or they're just making fun of you. Oh, that- you know, the pandemic's over. We hope you go to Disneyland. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and you get gang raped by Mickey, Goofy, and Donald Duck. <laughs> we hope you catch your girlfriend fucking three guys at once. We hope you get kicked in the face by a horse. <laughs> now, that may not sound like much. But with an approximate speed of 200 miles per hour, <laughs> an average an average horse can kick with a force of around 2,000 pounds per square inch. <laughs> to put that into perspective, that's more than the hardest punch any professional boxer could ever punch. I hope your asshole grows taste buds. <laughs> We hope you get into a staring contest with Forrest Whitaker. You get so confused on where to look that your head explodes. <laughs> we hope the glory hole gives you splinters. Uh, we hope you dive head first into a vat full of Tabasco sauce, glitter, and hippo cum. <laughs> uh, you know whenever you're like eating a hot-ass piece of pizza mm-hmm. and you have to like suck in the air mm-hmm. to cool your mouth off, but it's pointless because that cheese is just stuck and welded to the roof of your mouth, yeah. and then you walk around for like a week with like second-degree burns? Mm-hmm. We hope that happens. <laughs> Uh, we hope a gypsy puts a curse on you and your eyelashes turn to pubic hair. Uh, we hope you come home early from work and walk in on your wife getting gang banged by circus clowns. We hope you walk in on your mom getting gang banged by Grimace, Mayor McCheese, and the Hamburglar. We hope that the host of your favorite podcast gets impaled by a rogue ski, slowly starts to bleed out, and then a snow shark bites his stupid fucking face off. <laughs> Uh, We hope you lose your arm in a horrible factory accident, but the day before you smoke the devil's lettuce so you can't get workman's comp and nobody wants to hire a one-armed junkie, so you lose your home and you end up living on the streets where you use your only hand to give hand jobs just so you can eat and then you die alone and nobody even notices. (laughs) Oh my God. If you don't like us. Tell your enemies. And until (laughs) next time, guys. Just say no. If you don't like us. Oh, I'm sorry. Keep laughing, assholes. Until next time, keep laughing, assholes. We'll see you later. Take care. Oh, yeah, thank you.